Welcome back to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge kicking it on Next Island here at the Neophyte Village Teleporter with my cool new shades, my tropical shades. I was actually going to uh, make a video about the mission you would do to get the blueprint to make these shades since it's pretty straightforward. But I learned that that mission is no longer in play. And so, frustratingly, the you can't make these uh, shades anymore, which is, uh, that's a bummer. I'm hopefully... The next island devs will see their way to, you know, bringing that back, bringing that blueprint back and putting that in some other mission or something like that. But this is what they look like. I think they're pretty cool. You know, they're only 50 peck shades. And uh, you look and see the markup isn't too much. It's just a couple ped. I paid four ped for these. I bought them from Waffles. Thanks, Waffles. We had a nice conversation about it. Uh, he's one of the few people still making these. Uh, got a few clicks left on the blueprint. Still selling them. So if you want some of these shades, they are available right now on the the auction house uh, next island. And like I said, I got it for four ped. I think that's a really reasonable price for something that's going to be discontinued soon. So... Uh, eventually once the clicks run out but what i want to talk about today get back to my roots and do another mining video because you know that's what i'm really all about i really like to do a lot of mining and you will remember or harken back to the mining the entropy universe video where i discussed the three mining missions uh, here on Next Island. Now there's a fourth uh, I didn't know about at that point which was the Protonium Challenge which that was the last video but this is the three iron mining challenges, which fall into the same category as all mining challenges. So the same point system and typically the same reward system. But one of the things I always see people talking about in the chat, in the Next Island chat, is where do I find Phlogiston? Where do I find Sorensen's? Where do I find Dark Listeria? And there aren't any videos for that. And so usually miners would say, well, I'm going to keep that close to my chest. I'm not going to give you the actual locations for this. But I think that's really a bad thing to do in Entropian now. And now that the communities are really starting to expand with, you know, I mean, Next Island doing this huge promotion, trying to get this out, uh, get more people talking about Next Island, and then as well as Toulon, Monria, so on and so forth. I think it's time to start putting some of this information out there so that people can find the resources and then craft with those resources and do what they need to. And then that way, uh, we can increase the economy, increase uh, you know, more availability of all of these things. So here's the plan. I am going to start mining in an area here on the map. This is quadrant one, sort of the beginning area for most avatars on Next Island. I'm going to go through where I find Dark Listerium and Sorensen's pretty regularly, but I'm going to show you with three different finders. I'll start with an F-105, uh, then I'll do a Terra Master 4, and then we'll do the TT finder to show you the difference in finding these resources. And so we'll do a 50-bed mining run and just keep it real basic. We'll start here at the Neophyte Village, and then we'll head off in that direction towards that waypoint in the distance, and we'll see what we can get. We'll start with the F-105. Okay, quick look here at Little Big Mining Log to get us going. So we were not just uh, screwing around. Let's cruise down here to Dark Listerium, and let's see what we can learn about Dark Listerium. That's like 19 finds in the last uh, 60 or 90 days. Uh, average depth, 737 meters. Super deep, 987, but uh, 206 that's viable. That's of F-101 range. Could Should be able to get into there. Uh, down to 600 or so with the F-101. So, I, you know, we'll do the TT finder. We'll do the Terra Master, which will get us super deep. And then the F-101, I sort of middle of the road, I think, is the plan here. And just to ensure that we're in the right section of the next island, area, you know, quadrants. So let's take a look. Bottom right quadrant. Dark Listerium is at 8%. 8%. It's not bad, Sorens, since it's running around 3%. And then uh, the next quadrant over looks like Dark Listerium, 7%. Sorens, is 3%. Um, up in the top left corner, what are we looking at for Dark Listerium? 7%. Sorens, is 5%. And then the top right corner is look at Dark at 8%, and Sorens, is running at 3%. So, yes, we're definitely in a good spot. Uh, I'm using this example because I found a really good area for it, and it's fairly safe to mine if you're a low-level uh, player. 
you know, not a lot of hit points. So that's where we're going to go. So what I'm going to do is just start right here at the Neophyte Village and drop a few probes on the way over to our destination, our first waypoint. And it's mostly because I haven't actually mined this little space, this about five to six hundred meters through here. So we should just get a few probes down to see if hopefully we can find something here. And if not, I'll just edit the video and you, you won't even know the difference, right? We'll just be right to where we need to be. And I'm just going to kind of sneak my way through these uh, low-level gray papu. There we go, like third drop. We got some blossarium, so we'll go dig that up and then uh, fight off the uh, the few papu that are out here, the few little gray papus that are coming come and attack me, and then we'll get to a little closer to the waypoint. And of course, let's take a quick look at my sweet moves coming out of the water there. Look at that. I should be like in water ballet or something. Sturge the water ballet guy. Yeah, I'm over here by the biological research area, just kind of checking out the islands here to see if there's anything there. Doesn't look like it. Okay, we're just coming up on that first waypoint right by that biological research area. And, you know, we're just using the F-101, hitting it about 521 meters average depth or ish. I don't have any enhancers or anything, so, man, nothing there. The reason I say this area is pretty good is because I have hit quite a bit of dark listerium in here with the f-105 i have actually hit it with an f-101 as well i'm not trying it with that uh that may be something that you can do on your own you know in your your mining endeavors but i just wanted to see how the f-105 would work out and then you know, apply it so that other people could see this area you know new players can come through here with it usually outrun most of these bore so it's not a big issue well, so far I've run through the first three waypoints and uh, nothing. Oop, there's some fruit. I have to come back for that. I'm just being chased by a bunch of pigs right now. So we're going to run them into the water, teach them a little bit of lesson about how to swim, because I can swim with my water ballet tactics. And then we'll come back and uh, actually try to try to go over and mine in this area a little bit and see if we can uh, if we get anything out of it. But so far I think we're like six drops in and nothing. Well, all right, we're coming up on... Uh, Another waypoint here. Uh, I don't want to just keep showing you no resource found. I do want to drive home the point that the F-105 sometimes just isn't the, isn't the thing. Uh, and there you go. There's some zinc. Not a whole lot of zinc. Uh, but sometimes the F-105 really just isn't the finder. It appears that, and as I said in the Protonium Daily Challenge video, it appears that the TT finder in a TerraMaster 4 or an F-105 with a lot of depth enhancers, two at least, probably three, are going to be a lot better and we're just right here by crystal cove the last waypoint is up here and we'll, we'll hit that and we'll do a little bit of drops and then we'll turn around we'll go back the other direction and i think we'll use the um we'll use a different finder for this oh there we go there's some listerium stone that's pretty exciting huh but at least it's a five so we're getting something we got a little brook height yeah well at least we're getting some ground items and maybe a couple of hits here okay well it's time to switch we didn't do very well. We're going to switch to the TerraMaster 4. I've got two depth enhancers on here. So 851 meters in depth average. That's great. Uh, as you saw, that should be, you know, covering the 700 meter range all the way down to the 900 meter range. What we saw on the um, Little Big Mining Log main page. I'm right now about 50 peck ahead uh, with all the drops that I've made so far. But and we'll have to see. The TerraMaster oftentimes is really quite good. It, 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 it finds things on next island you know that you wouldn't find normally like terudite that's a very common thing that i find tons of terudite okay so running back towards the crystal bay teleporter there we go a little bit of listerium that'll help that was right next to where that zinc was uh, earlier that f that first zinc hit we got and what do we get here a little bit more listerium yeah it's not dark listerium darn it there's another listerium hit well, at least the hit rate's coming up, or you know, three for three. And since then, there's some zinc and some root up here amongst the boar. Got a few on my tail, and some alfric stone, or four. So that's not too bad, a thousand meters. Wow. And then coming right back up to the, uh, the biological research area, we've got a bunch of pigs on my tail. Big deal, got some bombardo. Yeah, all right, that's good there. All right, so we're going to move on from here. No dark listerium yet. That's kind of weird. I'm really used to dark listerium at that this point. So there we go. Terudite. <laughs> Terudite, like I said, there's a five, a small one. 
And what do we have here? We've got ourselves some Sorensen stones. So I'm not a liar. Like I said, Dave, we were going to find some Sorensen's in here. No dark Listerium yet. So let's just add it up. Uh, I went back to Crystal Bay. Because after I dug it up, I was right here. So all the goodies, 2674. And we're at 4674. So not too bad. We're just a few ped down. You know what? 3.25 ped-ish plus decay. So I'm not really not really sad about this. I think that this is a good run so far. We did get the Sorensen Stone, which is really nice. We did get the Cherudite. I think it's time to try this with the TT Finder. So I bought a couple of TT Finders. And hopefully we can find some Dark Listerium in this area. But yeah, real basic TT Finder. No depth, really. But uh, yeah, it probably wouldn't show up on Little Big Mining Log anyway, because you wouldn't find people using the TT Finder. But I'm going to use it anyway, and we'll see what we get. Well, yeah, sort of back here at Crystal Cove, killing the boar that are chasing me. But uh, dropped about 10 drops so far and with the TT Finder and nothing. It's not a surprise. I mean, I really just had a huge hit rate through this area. So, and, you know, dug all that up. So it's not really a big surprise we're not finding anything, you know, in there. Oh, there we go. Okay, 125 meters, tiny two, and we got a, we got a point for that. That's good. So I remember that's that 25 percent chance of getting a point for a two. So that's that's really good. Tiny two, we'll take a point for it. That's good. All right, we'll get another little piggy chasing me, but we did get some plutonium. Yeah, if you remember, the plutonium is generally right around Orpheus's cave. So. That's a good good little find there. I wonder if we did get a point for it. I'll have to check after I kill this boar. But that's cool. You know we can get a little Protonium out here as well. With the TT Finder, that's really good. All right, moving down here. We got a little Blossarium, another tiny. That's not too bad. We'll take a little Blossarium. And what else we got? We got a Zinc hit. That's not too bad. Another tiny. A lot of Zinc out here. You, you, you would anticipate it. And I got a lot of piggies on me now. You do not like me. At all. And there's some Sorensen stone. Nice. When we, yep. Ooh, we finished our multi-faction daily. Hey, that's pretty cool. We finally got the Sorensons and the multi-faction daily. We'll have to pick a pick our uh, blueprint right now. Okay, this is drop number 20. And we got a little bit of Listerium here. Not getting a lot of dark Listerium. I'm coming over on the sort of the eastern side of that boar area. And yeah, I'm not getting a whole lot. So what are we at? We're at 17 ped remaining. I think we should run at least another ped through this in this area and see if we can get another Dark Listerium hit. All right, let's see. We got a little bit more Sorensen stone, which uh, no surprise. Listerium, again, no surprise. And there's some Dark Listerium. Okay, so we know we can find Dark Listerium here now with the TT Finder. That's great. All right, that is good news. So I'm just going to run the rest of this down to about 16 ped, and then we'll see see how what we can do after that, uh, what, what it looks like um, you know, TT-wise, and then we'll go for phlogiston. All right, let's see what we got. Let's wrap this up. Come on now. There we go. 1610. All right. It's not horrible, and we are 4612 TT value. That's not horrible. Considering what what I'm doing is I'm just kind of you know screwing around here, uh, dark listerium, Sorensen's, Terudite, like I said, and some Protonium. A little Alfrix in there too was probably worth some a little bit of markup on it. But uh, Protonium, dark listerium, Sorensen, not a bad. Forty six twelve. Okay, we're still here at the biological research area. Let's take a look at where we're going to go for phlogiston. I sort of picked this up from another YouTuber who never explicitly said that phlogiston was over here, but uh, some time ago I went and explored and certainly found quite a bit of phlogiston. This person just said there was a lot of good end matter there, which I took to mean phlogiston. So it's between Riverside View and probably Shepherd's Beach area, sort of to the west of that. You can see where all the waypoints I have right there on the map, so let's go there. Okay, it's quick land here by the beach. I'm not going to actually mine on the beach, but uh, pretty close to it. We are 650 meters away from the first waypoint. That's great. We're running with, what, 16 ped of uh, probes, and we've got ourselves a fresh TT finder. So let's run over there. I'm going to cut it short and show you just what I get after, you know, this this run through to that, to that 650 meters away and see if we get any, well, there's some crude oil, to see what if we get any phlogiston using the TT finder. All right, well, what do we got there? We got a little crude, got a little bit of melchy water. That's to be expected. 
Looks like we're probably going to get a little bit more melty water here. Yeah, this is not great so far. Uh, crude oil. Yeah, that uh, that didn't work. So I switched over, as you can see, to the Terramaster 4. And I'm, this is the furthest away waypoint, about 900 meters from where I landed. And we're going to go from here and see if we can get some phlogiston. There just wasn't enough from the TT Finder. At a ped, 20 drops, and I only maybe four or five hits. So it really just wasn't worth... Just wasn't worth even trying uh, again to tr throw another ped at it using the TT Finder. The Terramaster is going to be the way to go, at least for my records. As before, you saw I'm running with uh, depth enhancers, getting me down to 851 meters. I, I just really like that with the Terramaster 4. I don't think you necessarily need it with that. There's some care root. But I would say that the, like I said, an F105 with maybe three. Depth Enhancer, three slots full of Depth Enhancers would be good. Or a Terramaster 4 without any, or you can add them as well. Ooh, Brew Kites. Well, this is a really good ground find area. I like that. I like to do my mining pig menace style. Land, drop a probe, fly away if you don't get a hit. That's that's my old school way, the pig menace way. Let's see here. We get ourselves the first phlogiston hit. Okay, 699 meters. 700 meters. Remember, that was the average, was 702 or 7, something like that. So that's really good. Nice. And you can see how many hits I have right now. So not much with the TT Finder and definitely got some with the with the Terra Master. So we'll come back and dig that up. Let's keep mining. All right, let's see what we get here. A little Devil's Tail. Well, that's going to help with the uh, <laughs> the markup, the eventual return. That'll be nice. All right, Litarian Dust. Surprise, surprise. Very common out here. Lots of Litarian Dust. Crude Oil, of course. You're always going to get Crude Oil even up on the plains a little bit, so more like Tarian dust, not bad. All right, let's see if we can get some phlogiston. There's another phlogiston hidden. One of the things I know that this seems a little long-winded, that I'm showing you a lot of the drops and what, what, you're, what we get for hits. I'm not showing you the NRFs, but it's so that you know you can come back and look at this as sort of a reference point for the things that you, the, the types of end matters you're going to find using the Terramaster 4 in this area and the TT Finder. I didn't do the F-105. It did. It just gives you a lot of oil and a lot of less uh, melchi water. So it's this not uh, Litarian, oil, melchi, F-105. Terramaster is what you want for phlogiston. Obviously, we've got the two hits so far. So let's, uh, let's just wrap this up and go back to the trade terminal and uh, see what we have, TT value. Okay, we're back at the uh, Riverside view. I just teleported it out, make things a little easier. And let's see what kind of TT value we get for... This is the entire run, so that was that f entire 50 ped mining run. 43, 53 in resources, 5 ped in remaining uh, probes. Not bad, not 48, 53. I guess we might as well throw those TT finders back in there. All right, 48, 58. Uh, That's really impressive. Uh, from a 50 ped mining run, moving all around, dropping, using different finder, three different finders in multiple areas. That's, that's great. Uh, and we got some phlogiston, and we got some sorens, and we got some dark uh, listerium. Let's look at those resources. Okay, let's see what we have. 363, 58 pack, and 416. So that's what, uh, for, what, 829? 8.29 uh, PED. That's not horrible. We did get three points in the phlogiston. We got one of the Sorens and one in Protonium too, but we also got a little bit of Dark Listerium points in there. So now I think uh, this should help people figure out where some of these resources are. And so that way they're not scrambling all the time and having to ask for waypoints and just, and, and, it, and not getting an answer, you know, for where to go and find these resources. A lot of times the community on uh, Next Island is really good about giving answers, but sometimes you're playing when there are only a few people on Next Island and nobody's talking. So I, I, I wanted to throw this video out there so that people have a, a reference for how to find these things for these iron missions, and then you can have those resources to use in your crafting, you know, in whatever it is that you're going to do. If you just want to sell them for markup, great. But now you know where to find them. Because when you know where to find resources, the economy thrives because there's more available material to work with for whatever project. And, f and that's great. I think that's really what we're trying to do here. That's what all I've been trying to do with the mining videos I've made over the years. So hopefully this is helpful to you. I appreciate everybody watching. This is Sturge signing off. Ciao.